All right, number 19, we want to determine the area of the given region. And so what we have to realize is that since this function is non-negative over that entire uh, interval, uh, we're going to want to find uh, the definite integral. Okay, so what we do need to find is these points of intersection here. So this one's intersecting here at zero, and I'm, it looks like this is going to be at four, and we could just check real quick that that does give us zero. So we would have 12 times 2 minus the square root of 4, uh, which is 2. And so, yeah, that does give us a 0. So we do know that this is going to go from 0 to 4 right here. Now I see uh, parentheses, and we might be thinking, oh, maybe this is a composite function with an inner function here. But if you look, there's no power. This is just to the first power here. So whenever that's the case, and that's to the first power, you actually want to distribute the 3x because we can. And that's going to make it a lot simpler to solve. Okay, and this is with respect to x, of course. And so uh, let's distribute that. So 3x times 2 gives us uh, 6x. And then it'll be minus 3x to the, well, this is x to the first. And then add the 1 half, so we'll have to the 3 halves power. And then with respect to x, and so we just want to find that antiderivative now. So 6x squared over 2 minus 3x to the, well, 3 halves plus 1, that's another 2 halves. So 5 halves, and then over 5 halves. We'll evaluate that from 0 to 4. And we'll simplify to make it a little easier to calculate. Uh, 3x squared here, uh, instead of divide by 5 halves, multiply by 2 fifths. So 3 times 2 fifths would be uh, 6 fifths x to the 5 halves and from 0 to 4 and so we'll go ahead and plug in 4 first so 3 times 4 squared minus 6 fifths times 4 to the 5 halves and then minus well if we plug 0 in there both of those uh, terms have an x factor and so that's just going to go to 0 there and so we have uh, 3 times 16, which is 48, and then 6 fifths. So 4 to the 5 halves, you take the square root first, that takes care of the half, so that's 2. And then 2 to the 5th power is 32. And so if we were to simplify this down, uh, I think we end up with 48 over 5. Okay, so you can just put it in the calculator, use math frac, or uh, turn the decimal into fraction. And there would be your area.